Hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this video, we will learn about how to use cross filter in Salesforce reports. Why we need to use filter in Salesforce reports? So basically, when we create a report, sometimes we don't want unnecessary data. Using the filter feature, we can collect data on which basis we want records and create a report with the necessary data. Then what is cross filter in Salesforce report? The cross filter in Salesforce report allows us to create a report that associate records with or without that related object records. Let's better understand with the using scenario. In this scenario, you need to display only those accounts that are not associated with contacts. When you so when you start creating a report, you need both objects data to identify is this account associated with the contact or not. So let's understand this scenario practically on the Salesforce org. So for that you can see the Salesforce homepage. Now we are going to create a report on account object. To create a report, we can simply click on our app launcher. Then in a search apps and items, search for a report and click on a reports then here you can see recent reports you can edit this but i am going to create a new report here you can see new report button click on it and then you can see here accounts or you can search object on which you want to create a report here i am clicking on account object and here start report you can see by default to filter has applied because of it we can't see any record i am going to remove that filters here you can see show me in the show me filter i am going to click all accounts and then apply and then in a created date in a range field i am going to select all times and then click on apply now you can see here is all the accounts which we have created in account object is displayed and you can see here is displayed also the unnecessary fields we can delete that fields by clicking on a drop down menu and here you can see the remove column like when you click on account owner close button then the column will be removed or if you want to delete all columns and, and start a report from a scratch then you can simply click on this drop down menu remove all columns option click on it now we can create a, our report from a scratch for now i am going to add only one column that accounts name this data is sufficient for our scenario you can also add another columns but here i am going to show you only using account name column so as per our scenario using the cross filter we have to display only those accounts which doesn't contain any contact records for that click on a filter button before applying a filter you can see we have a 50 account records then here you can see the drop down menu click on it and then click on a add cross filter now here you can see in the edit filter we have a account object then we have option with or without here we want to display without contact records for that i am clicking on a without option and then in a secondary object we will see all the related records that means all the child records of of account object here we have to click on a contact object you can see here contact click on contact and then click on apply button now here you can see the applied filters you can see over here we have apply across filter on a account record without contacts now before applying a filter we have a 50 records then here you can see now only 43 records is displayed that means these 43 records doesn't have any single contact let's cross check of this i am copying this account name and navigating to the account object go to the all accounts and paste the account name over a search list here you can see the account name click on it and you can see here this account contained zero contacts that means our filter has been successfully added to the report now 
the same scenario we will implement in the salesforce lightning for that you can see here profile icon click on profile and then here you can see for this i am not going to save this report for that's why i am clicking on a leave button we have switched to the salesforce classic now here we want to display only those accounts who contains the contact records in a salesforce lightning we displayed the accounts which doesn't contain any contact records but here we are going to uh, take a opposite example we want to display those accounts which contain a contact records for that navigate to the report tabs here you can see on a tab bar we have a report option click on a reports here also i am going to create a new report you can see here new report button click on it here you can see objects and when you click a plus icon it will expand another objects for this time we are going to create a report on account object for that click on account object and as you scroll down you can see a create button click on a create button here also you need to uh, remove default filters for that in a show field you need to click on a all accounts and then in a range field you need to select all times then here you can see all the account record is displayed remove the unnecessary columns and now i am going to add a cross filter for that here you can see filter option and here drop down arrow click on it and here you can see we have a cross filter option click on it we are creating a report on accounts object and here you can see we have option like uh, in a salesforce lightning with or without for this time we are going to create reports on those accounts who contain a contact records for that here i am going to click on a with and then for a related object i am going to click on a contact object here you can see contact and then click on a okay button here you can see only 18 record is displayed that means these 18 records contain a contact records for a cross check you can copy this united oil and gas control c and then we are going to check with the account record for that navigate to the account records before moving ahead i am going to save this report for that you can see here a save option click on it report name i am going to type account with contacts then the report unique name will automatically populate as you click on it and then in and then in a report folder you can select uh, any folder which you created or uh, which standard uh, folder also here i have selected my personal custom reports and then click on save button this is how we can create and save reports now i am going to cross check this account and then go to the account object here you can see accounts click on accounts or you can search in a global search box and paste here the account name click on it here you can see united oil and gas click on it and here you can see in a contact related object there is a contact available this is how we can use cross filter in a salesforce report i hope you have got idea about the cross filter reports in salesforce if you like the video Click the like button, subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon to get regular updates. Thank you.